First of all, do not assign yourself action items <laughs> because no one else volunteers, okay? I'm not saying, I mean, trust me, I live in the real world, okay? So I'm not saying that you as the PM should never take an action item because clearly that's not reasonable and clearly there are times when we need to do things. But if the only reason why you're taking the action item is because nobody else volunteered, that can be very dangerous. And why do I say that? Because what? Because what? Sorry. Yeah, nobody will ever volunteer. Again, you teach people how to treat you. You know, people start realizing, oh, you know, she'll take it. You know, okay, you know. Yeah, exactly. Just be quiet. She'll take it. Oh, she'll take that one too. Great. She'll take that one too. Next thing you know, you leave your meat and say, you got all the action items. <laughs> Anybody want to admit to that? that <laughs> I mean, I, I know I've done it. So you really don't want to do that. One thing I found, and I actually talk about this when I teach my facilitation classes, silence can be very powerful. Okay? We are very uncomfortable, particularly Western culture, with silence. So all I generally have found you need to do is just wait long enough. Usually wait another five, six seconds, and, and that'll do it. So if I say, example, I'll just you know, demonstrate, hey, guys, we need somebody to, to call up the vendor and negotiate those rates. Anybody willing to take that on for me? <laughs> I didn't even get that far, but it starts feeling uncomfortable. Maybe it already started feeling uncomfortable. It starts feeling uncomfortable after a little while, and usually you'll get a volunteer. 